Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're gonna go deep into the cell to use metabolic switching, which is a super interesting concept to help you lose weight. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I am a woman on a mission to get a million people fasting. Fasting is our way out of chronic disease, and no doubt, as you will see on this video, it is an incredible tool for weight loss. So, so happy that you are here. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And those of you that share my videos out, massively grateful for you guys. I love being on this journey with you. Okay. This one's gonna get really detailed, so bear with me, but this is where I think you all get snagged with use, looking at fasting as this incredible tool for weight loss, which it is, but there's some nuance here that we need to dive into so you can understand why fasting is a lasting change and when we go deep into looking at the mitochondria, what I'm hoping you'll understand is perhaps why you're not losing as much weight as you would hope as you would like to. So let's let's start with this idea. We talk often about these mitochondria and their effect on our energy, which is amazing. They these little guys, you've got thousands of them in your cells. You have trillions of them in your body. And they're like little batteries or powerhouses that are constantly giving you energy. So when you are not feeling energetic, I will tell you that one of my first things that goes through my head when somebody tells me their energy is low, I immediately think, how healthy are their mitochondria? We've got to get their mitochondria healthy again. But there are two other things that these mitochondria do, and one of them is very supportive of weight loss, and that's a concept called thermogenesis. When your mitochondria are very healthy, they raise heat in your body, which is called, the official name is thermogenesis, but that's your metabolism. So if you've got trillions of these, thousands per cell, we need them to be healthy so that they can make energy for you, but also so they can raise your metabolism. So many people think that metabolism comes solely from the thyroid. And, I, and, and yes, the thyroid plays a huge part, but let's just break it down into a little more simplistic idea. And that is, we gotta get these mitochondria working well if we're going to create thermogenesis, if we're going to raise this metabolism of yours. And I'll show you what, I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do that. Okay, third purpose of the mitochondria that are, is really important is detox. When these mitochondria are working well, they make glutathione. And glutathione will go in throughout the cell and it'll make sure that it pushes toxins out of your cell. The other thing that we know is that, they, that the mitochondria are in, uh, in charge of what we call methylation. And methylation is also this removal of toxins in the cell. When your cells are toxic, when these mitochondria are dysfunctional, you will hold on to weight, you will have brain fog, you will lack mental clarity, you will lose energy. This is the beginning of chronic disease. Also, it is the at the core why you can't lose weight. So we gotta get them healthy again. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, the first thing concept I wanna bring to your attention is hormetic stress. Hopefully you've heard me talk about what hormesis is, but think of hormetic stress as this is a good stress or what we would call a eustress, where we lean into stressful times in order to force the body to adapt. So trainers, personal trainers know this, when they go in and use hormetic stress with their clients, they, what they're trying to do is push the body so it breaks down and then builds itself strong again. We're also doing that when we fast, but it's specifically we're doing that so that we can impact these mitochondria. That's why I really wanna to bring to your attention that the goal of health is not to be comfortable. 
The goal of health is not that we're gonna stay in this comfort place all the time. If you are trying to lose weight and stay comfortable, it's not gonna work for you. You have to push in to these periods of hormetic stress so we can start to make some changes in these mitochondria. So once you understand that the mitochondria are specifically designed to raise heat, to give you energy, to help you detox, and then you go, okay, in order to do that, in order for my mitochondria to get them to do these miracles, I gotta be uncomfortable. Now we can start to look at, well, what does that mean? So the first is something that we call, we want to create mitophagy. So we've all talked about autophagy here, we talk about it a lot, but I want you to create mitotophagy or mitophagy. And what that is, is where we are taking those old dysfunctional mitochondria and we're kicking them out. We're saying, get out of the cell. You are not serving me anymore. Or if you aren't going to get kicked out of the cell, then I'm at least going to repair you. And the way that you do that is by stimulating autophagy. So 17 hours of fasting is going to stimulate autophagy and that's going to cause these mitochondria to repair, which is fancy name for that again, is mitotophagy. So we love autophagy for that. But that's not the end of the story. This is why metabolic switching is the miracle. Once you've stimulated autophagy, we need to now go in after a, a, like a 17 hour fast, we need to go in and stimulate mTOR. And the best way to do that, I've done this on other videos, I will continue to do that, the, this idea, which is you can stimulate mTOR really well by increasing protein. Now, if we want to repair these mitochondria, we need to go in and out, autophagy mTOR, autophagy mTOR. What that looks like to you is, Fasting food, fasting food, in and out. But if it's too comfortable, if the fast is too comfortable, if the food style is too comfortable, you have not created a hormetic stress. So we've got to get you going in and out and with a little bit of discomfort. Okay, last thing. When we look at cleaning up these mitochondria, now what we wanna do is ask ourselves, are we fueling the mitochondria with the proper nutrients? And this is called mitochondrial biogenesis, which is where you are creating healthy mitochondria and you want lots of them because the more mitochondria you have, the more thermogenesis, the faster the metabolism, the better the detox, the more energy you have. So when we've cleaned, worked on cleaning them up, now what we wanna do is feed them. And here's the absolute key to feeding these mitochondria. First is you've got to get to the root of your fats. What fats are you eating? So the bad fats that we've talked about that on this channel, these are your sunflower, safflower, cottonseed, corn, canola. I could list them. I feel like I could say them in my sleep. But you got to get off those bad fats because they're going to make more sick mitochondria and you got to put in the good fats. But specifically what we're learning, Dave Asprey has been talking about this. Stephen Gundry has a new book out called Unlocking the Keto Code, which is actually really good, um, is we've got to add in more MCT oil. So one of the thing, one of the P MCT oils I really love is Dave C8 oil from uh, Brain Octane oil from Bulletproof. Love this one. This is a little travel pack that I'll just put in my coffee when I go uh, out and about. So this one's really good. Um, and I also like to lean into what I call a good ratio of fats, omega three, six, and nine. I'm going to just ramble off some of my favorite here. But this is where if you want to improve your omega-3, 6, and 9, you would go in with a product like Pure Form or Vista 1 and 2. My team will leave links in the notes so you guys can find all of that. Now, once you've mastered your fats and you're doing a lot more with your fats to help with mitochondrial biogenesis, the next thing you want to do is add in key nutrients to make these mitochondria strong. This is where melatonin, CoQ10, selenium, these are key nutrients that will power up those mitochondria and make it so that you can lose weight, you can have energy and you can detox. Um, some of my favorite, we again will leave links in the notes for some of my favorite there. 
And then the other thing we cannot forget is that our mitochondria thrive on oxygen. So we need to get out and working out. If you have access to hyperbaric oxygen, you wanna get in the hyperbaric oxygen. There's incredible research showing that weight loss can happen from driving oxygen into these cells. And that's because you create mitochondrial biogenesis. Hydrogen, there's a lot of talk right now about structured water and hydrogen water. Things like fast tonic, I've talked to you guys about fast tonic before and using fast tonic to be able to pull out the hydrogen in your water so you're getting that nutrient as well. So when we look at weight loss, it's simple, but we've got to be systematic about it. So we have to appreciate these mitochondria. They are serving us so well. We have to look at where we can lean into stressful moments, longer fast, harder workouts, changes to the diet. Those kind of things are gonna create a nice little hormetic stress that will help these mitochondria. We've gotta lean into alternating between autophagy and mTOR so we can stimulate and create mitophagy. And then we've gotta fuel these suckers, used so that we can stimulate mitochondrial biogenesis with the right fats and the right nutrients and some key hacks like oxygen and hydrogen. Literally, if you're stuck losing weight, that's it. It's metabolic switching at its core. So as always, I hope that helps. Let me know, this one's detailed, it's science heavy, it's, it's biochemistry heavy, so put it in the notes. If you get it, you understand it, and what kind of result you're getting doing metabolic switching, losing weight, put how much weight loss you have in the comments. I absolutely love reading those, and if you're new, go watch the comments because people are getting insane results using these principles. As always, I hope that helps.